and today. We're good. Uh, congratulations. Always great to see you ladies back together. I would think by now you're probably finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Very much uh, off screen. But uh, one of the great things in this movie is how much the four of us are together in so many scenes and we get to have that sort of the four-headed monster sort of all thinking the same thoughts and moving as one. What is that like? You know, when you're all together and you know each other so well, I, I, you know, I, I can't imagine that it's just not like family. It, it is, it, it is totally. I mean, you're always, you know, you're kind of anticipating each other's need. You know, you can tell when somebody looks hot or you can tell when somebody's forgotten it's her line and you, you know, give a nudge. I mean, it's, it's all, it's all very symbiotic working as one. Yeah. What is it like, you know, uh, when you're shooting out, a lot of it was shot, you, you guys were away for seven weeks in yeah. Morocco shooting. We'll talk about that in a second. But you weren't as recognized there. Yes. When you're shooting in New York City, you can't barely walk down the street, especially when the four of you are shooting or you know making the film. Right. When it was there, you weren't as bombarded. What was that kind of like for you guys? Um, it was wonderful. I mean, we had you know really wonderful security guards with us everywhere we went, but uh, yeah, it was nice to kind of slip around the city and, and around the country itself. Some of us went to the Atlas Mountains and. Um, yeah, I mean, certainly we were recognized, but nothing like New York. And when you are here shooting, um, is it get harder and harder to keep the script under wraps? Or, you know, I, there was like all this stuff about, you know, Kim had a page that people saw and people were trying to take pictures right, of it. Right. How hard is that to keep it so under wraps that nobody knows what's going on in the next well, film? Well, I think we, I think they did a really pretty good job with it this time. I think even better than they did last time because I think last time we were unprepared for how many people would be snooping around. But this time I think it was really locked down and, you know, we even did a few, we filmed a few phony things that aren't real to try and throw people off track. And I think that was effective too. Yeah. Um, I love the script. I love the script mainly because I'm in the age group of, of the four women, so I can so relate to it. And I'm, I'm wondering if you felt, when you read this story, you know, script for the first time, you thought, wow, you know, I can kind of really relate to Miranda, maybe more now than ever? Um, yeah, I, I, I do think that. I mean, I think as the years have passed, Miranda has become, you know, when, when it started, you know, she and I were really pretty diametrically opposed, but I think over the years I've become a little more like her and she's become a lot more like me, so, so definitely. Yeah, because I mean, you, you, you look at what she's up to right now and she, you've got a great career, you're an actor, uh, though you have kids and you have to balance all that. Right. So, you know, in, in your real life, how does that kind of affect, you know, when you are working and when you've got the kids? And well, I have a really, you know, Miranda has Magda, which is really great, but I have a really big advantage over Miranda, which is that I, my girlfriend is a stay-at-home mom with our kids. So. And, and because I'm not a corporate lawyer who goes into work, you know, 14 hours a day, I'm an actress who sometimes goes away for seven weeks to Morocco, but then has months where I can be home every night and I can, you know, pick up the kids from school. So I think in my own life, of course, as a working parent, you always have to juggle, but I think I have it a lot easier than Miranda. Yeah. One of my favorite scenes is when you and, um, and Kristen, Charlotte, are sitting at that bar and you're, you know, getting her to be honest. Yes. I just, I don't know why, that really hit home for me, that scene. I love that scene, and I think, you know, Charlotte and Miranda have such an interesting relationship over the years. They're sort of really diametrically opposed, you know. Miranda's very you know, kind of aggressive, a feminist working woman, and Charlotte is very, you know, old-fashioned. All she really wants is a husband and family, and I think they, they often sort of polarize and argue about that. But what's nice is Miranda has come to a kind of a place of security, both as a, a, a working woman, but as a mother also. And used to be when they fight, Miranda would tell Charlotte what she was doing wrong. And she's arrived at a place, she's, she's secure enough and mature enough to not tell Charlotte what she's doing wrong, but ask her how she's doing and, and, and let Charlotte figure out for herself what's, what's, not, what's not right in her life. Yeah, it was really, really great. Very touching. I loved it. Okay, let's talk about some of the fun stuff in this movie because there's, there is a lot. Okay, first of all, I want to talk about camel riding. Is there an art to that? <laughs> yes. Hold on. Don't let go. <laughs> be prepared because you never know when that camel is going to sit or when that camel is going to stand and they don't stand all at once you know they they if you're up here they go wah wah 
So you go, you go back and you go forward. And if you're not holding on, you're, you're going to be in trouble. You're grateful that there's sand all around you to fall into, but you really don't want to fall from such a height. Was that the first time you'd ever been on a camel? Absolutely. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, the next scary thing, karaoke. Karaoke. Did you enjoy doing that? Uh, it was a little scary, a little scary. I'm, I'm not myself a karaoke practitioner in life, but um, we went into a studio first and, and laid down the track, so I think obviously the singing part is the most scary part. So to have that gotten out of the way and sort of when there weren't people watching made it easier to do it than when there were people watching. Okay, I love the wedding. Sanford, their, their wedding was hilarious. Yes. I mean, the opening scene, so I'm not giving away anything, but and we've seen this in the trailer, but Liza Minnelli being there and performing. I know, isn't it amazing? What was that like to just watch her do a little performance for you guys? Incredible. And then she did a she sang a song uh, at, at the very end, just after the cameras had stopped, which was also amazing. And I had my girlfriend and my kids come, and you know, it, all of us had friends and family come that day and just watch. Yeah. Does it still amaze you that people are still so invested in these characters? And why do you think we love them so much? Um, I think we initially loved them because our show showed single women who were not necessarily unhappy about seeing, being single and who were enjoying their lives despite the fact that they didn't have a wedding ring. Um, and I think that they, then they've learned to love us, you know, us and the characters, and they, they want to just see what we're up to. And I think that the, the thing that allows people to keep reinvesting in, in us is that Michael Patrick King doesn't keep charting the same territory. He lets us grow and evolve and change, and he keeps putting us in a situation you've never seen us in before. Will it be sad to ever have to say goodbye to Miranda? Yes, but you know, I've said goodbye to her a few times already. So yes, it will be sad, but um, it's when you're an actor, that's what you do. You have a part and you love and you become as much like that person as you can, and then you, you hang that character up in your closet. Yeah, well. You'll be living her forever, for sure. You know, she's always going to be a part <laughs> yes, of you. That's true. Thank you so much. This Thank was a you. lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you. Always much. great to talk to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, guys. Oh, you held that in. Ah. <laughs>